guys welcome back to my channel so I've been very very productive today um, I got a lot done I was gonna film it but in my mind I just wanted to hurry up get it all done so I could have some time to myself so I didn't really worry about filming at all um, but I woke up around 1130 I wish I woke up earlier than that but I woke up around 11.30, you know, showered, changed to some pajamas because I'm not going anywhere today. And I immediately got to work. There's a lot that I need to get done and I knew I was going to relax until I got it all done. So what I did was I cleaned my kitchen, cleaned the bathroom, and I hung up some things. But... If you guys have watched my previous video and you've seen or a glimpse of my kitchen, um, then you would know what it looked like before. I hate that it is so small, but majority of the time I'm the only one here if I'm not with Brayden. But let me show you guys what my kitchen looks like now. Okay, so this is what my kitchen looks like now. I just swept everything down and just clean it all. It looks so much better. I love like cleaning and reorganizing. Sorry if it looks a little dim. I don't know what's going on with the lens. This is a new phone, so yeah. So I just took everything down off the pantry or this little organizer that you want to call it and I just organized, wiped everything down, mopped, and that's where I keep all my pots and pans because it's a small kitchen. So, yeah, this is just what my kitchen looks like now, and I'm very happy with it. So, here is my bathroom. Every single time I'm done cleaning my bathroom, I always have to light a candle. And this is a Midnight Blue Citrus candle from Bath & Bite Works, which smells so good. It smells so clean. And that's the reason why I love getting clean stuff from Bath & Bite Works, because I love... Walking into my bathroom after cleaning it and it smells so good. So yeah, that is everything I got done. There's still more that I want to do, but I'm gonna wait tomorrow because it's getting it's getting dark. That's another reason why I hate that I started this video so late because it gets dark so early on. But I'm having this bottled Starbucks wrap because um because um, it's just a quick little coffee drink. I didn't even make me any real coffee. Like I said, I just started cleaning and trying to get things done while I could. So, and I'm gonna make me something to eat, which is probably be left over pizza. And, and yeah. Okay, so I placed an order on justfab.com. It is a website where you can get clothing, shoes, accessories, pretty much anything. Um, I did have some member credits, so that's the only reason why I purchased anything, even though I don't need any more shoes. I originally wanted to cancel my membership because I couldn't figure out my password for the life of me. And I was charged because I couldn't get into my account to skip the month. But since I figured out my password... Um, I'm just going to keep my justfab.com membership and just skip the month whenever I don't want any more shoes. Um, but the delivery came today and let me show you guys what I purchased with my member credits. Um, so I had a member credit of $49.95, but I got some things from the $10 sale, which you can, you can do that. And you don't have to only get one item to use your member credits. I got three items and only paid $8.35. And for all this originally, it was like $166 or $170. But then you have the VIP membership discount, and you have the member credits, and you have... Um, another discount that I forget. We have all these discounts and which is really helpful, <laughs> saves you a lot of money. And so after all that, I only paid $8.35. So with that being said, let's just get into my purchases. Um, so, 
a big box. The first thing I got is these boots. I'm not going to show you both pairs. I'm not going to show you both shoes. I'm just going to show you like one, one shoe because, you know, the other one looks the same. <laughs> but this is what I got. I love high boots with the chunky heels. Great for the fall, not winter, fall, definitely. And I love the color brown. When it comes to boots, I gravitate towards brown and um, and black, sometimes ivory. But yeah, I love these boots. And if you guys want a price of everything, I'm pretty sure they have like an inventory slip in there. I'll just tell you guys. But look at the the. The top right here is so soft and fuzzy. I love it. So I am an eight and a half in shoes. So that's the first pair of shoes that I purchased. Okay, so here's the second pair of shoes that I purchased. So I got another pair of boots for the winter or fall. Whichever and one. this is what it looks like. It's very tall and it's, I love, I just love the, I can't think of what it's called, don't judge me. But I love the color and I'm obsessed with boots. I love boots. Boots is the shoes that like goes with anything. Uh, leggings, you know, jeggings, not some skirts, but you know. I've never worn them with skirts. So yeah, these are the second pair. I love these so much. And I love how sturdy they feel. They don't feel cheap. You know, I love the material. So there's that. And last but not least, my last purchase came in here. And open it real quick. I wonder why it's in here. I love this bag though. I'm going to keep this bag. It's cute. Oh, because I got some sneakers. I need new sneakers for work. The ones that I usually wear is, has definitely run its course. Um, but here's one of the shoes. to shoe feels very light and feels very comfortable inside I'm touching the soles I mean it feels very comfortable I love the color I love the white right here and when it comes to work I just like something that's comfortable because I'm on my feet for a very long time when I have like an eight hour shift or whatever so comfort is my ultimate like priority when it comes to work shoes so i just got these because these were part of the 10 dollar sale and why not you know i need it more anyway okay so here i have just some leftover pizza from the other day from pizza hut i love pizza hut it's my favorite pizza place to get pizza um so here i have um a pan pizza with Mushrooms, olives, pineapple, and chicken and onion. Yes, I love my pizza with pineapple. If you don't like it with pineapple, that's you. This is me. Um, but it's so good, so delicious. This is my go-to. So I'm going to eat this and try to find a cage I'm going to get into. rename my vlogs um introverted homebody because honestly I don't be going anywhere I be at home chilling doing what I need to do and answering questions so lately I've been feeling like I don't know myself and this is something I've been feeling recently I feel like I've been feeling this my entire life it's just recently I've realized that if someone were to ask me 
about myself and um like tell me about yourself i really wouldn't know where to begin and that's pretty scary so i don't really know much about myself but last year i went to barnes and noble and i wanted to find something that i could write in so that i could get to know myself better and when it comes to a potential future partner which i don't think will happen um i could just toss in the book and be like here's a good read so i really want to put my energy into myself more i usually just feel so depleted giving my energy to other people that i'm taking my energy back bitch like i am turning the energy around and putting it back to myself so for the past few weeks even though i did buy this book last year yeah i didn't get into it until recently because i'm such a procrastinator this is the three thousand and one questions all, all about me that i bought from barnes and noble i was looking for something just like this but dang i think it'll, i didn't think it'd be three thousand and one questions like jeez so as you can see um it's just a book of a, so many questions that you can just answer 10 a day one a day two a day heck even like 50 a day if that's what you want so far i've done about i want to say about eight pages of questions some questions don't even apply to me so i don't even answer um but when it comes to these certain questions it asks you something very mediocre like what's your favorite thing to do at the park or what's your favorite fall activity but it really gets down to nitty gritty deep questions of what's something that you regret the most in your life what is something you want to change about yourself and what are like characteristics that you find in other people when it comes to relationships or friendships so it really it really digs down deep from like the surface to down to the earth's crescent cavity you know um so i really like this book you can screenshot it if you want to like look it up on amazon or if you have a local Barnes and noble it's going to take me a while to get through all these questions so i'm in no rush honestly but i think this is a good starting point for if you want to I mean, even if you think you know yourself really well, I mean, these questions would definitely make you think. Um, so I think this would be a good starting point for you guys if you want to get started to get to know yourself or if you want to get to know yourself more deeper, then this would be a great book for you. So that pizza did not do it for me. I'm still pretty hungry. So I'm go going to be having this Amy's Organic Soup. This is a lentil vegetable kind. And I'm just really wanting some vegetables, protein, fiber. I feel like my body really needs it. And I'm going to be adding some grilled chicken into it for some added protein. Two days ago, I finished this drama, Flower of Evil. If you guys are into K-drama and you have not seen this series yet, what are you waiting for? It is so good it's so dramatic it's a mixture of drama emotions um it had me crying and then happy and then angry it just it sends you on a roller coaster of emotions and that's what i love when it comes to k dramas especially when it comes to like a, a action k drama i love that it just sends you on a tailspin so if you guys have not seen this series you have netflix and you're into k drama I highly recommend this one. So the K-drama that I'm wanting to get into next is this one is called Remarriage and Desires. There's only eight episodes, so this will probably be a really, really good one. Um, since it's such a mini series. Sorry if it's so blurry, I apologize. I don't know why it looks so blurry. Um, but this looks like a good one. I read the um, description of it, so it looks very promising. So I'm going to get into this. 
And while I wash my k -drama, I'm going to be snacking on these. I bought these from Costco. If you guys love chocolate and you love strawberries, but you haven't tried this, what are you waiting on? These are so delicious. Now the serving size, if I can turn around, is three pizzas for 90 calories. But to be honest with you guys, I cannot just eat three pieces. Let's let's be real here because these are so so good now i would rather have a chocolate covered strawberry like around valentine's day like from the actual grocery store but you know the ones they make in the bakery but these are good for a frozen product so yeah these are so delicious if you guys have not tried these out i highly recommend these as well